Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and it's an Evercade video guys and it's a uh, unboxing, you know, look at the contents and all that gubbins guys and then smacking it into the fantastic Evercade EXP and having a play on it and see exactly what's uh, what on this fantastic cartridge guys, it is the Pico Collection 3. Now one and two were fantastic. And I'll tell you what, I was anticipating this one for a long time. Oh, it's got 40 winks on it, guys. That already makes it for me. It's one of my favorite PlayStation games. I love this game to bits. Gonna be very interesting to see it playing on the Evercade's gorgeous handheld. But yeah, 1799 guys, that's from game. You uh, will find it for different prices if you look around long and hard enough, but that is the set real price. You know, $17.99 is fantastic. Because you get 10 games on here, guys. Now, let's have a look at the front of the box to begin with. So you can see in the middle there is the 40 Winks brother and sister. And you can see around it all the other bits and bobs there. As I say, 10 games included yeah that is a fantastic cover guys look at that how cool is that now i say this on all my evercade videos guys fantastic box again very reminiscent of the uh, mega drive and master system with the way it is you shall see that in a minute and there's the stem guys pico interactive collection three so yeah brilliant there it's nothing it's just the uh yeah product protection and all that from the game but yeah fantastic and then the back guys shows you all the different games that are on here so yeah look at all them some wicked ones there guys and there's some stills and as you go further down all the gubbins so yeah you know what we've got to do guys so we've got to get into this haven't we now <laughs> this is where trusty dusty box cutter comes in i used to use a knife but I always get scared I'm going to damage things, so I'm going to be using this bugger. My work uh, box cutter. So right, let's uh, see if I can get in here. Usually it's best to go from this sort of end, he says. Let's see if I can. Oh yes, I think I'm in already. Let's have a look. Am I in? Am I always that just trying to trick me? 
Oh, I think it was trying to trick me, guys. But let's have a look here instead. Oh, here we go. Look. Yeah, we're in, guys. We're in. There we are. Have to. Come on. Let's get that. Yeah, after whacking the tripod, we're in. No going back on this, is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. Oh, look at this, though. It's been tough as anything, this plastic. It really is. There we go. Oh, that's better. Now we're properly in. Oh, he's there still trying to get off. There we go. Off. Yeah. We won. We won this battle. Put it over there. So, yeah, look at that now. Now you can see it much better. Because the uh, plastic does make it look a bit washed out. So, yeah, fantastic. But we want to know what's in here. You know how much I love some little extra touches like posters and cards and things like that. Will there be anything in here? Mm, let's find out, shall we? Here we go. Ah. Oh, it looks like it's just a book, guys. Is it just a book? Yes, it's just a book. So there's what you get. That's all right. That's fair enough. You can't have it in there all the time, can you? It would get boring then, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, look. There's the cartridge. Wonderful looking thing that it is. Again, it's the brother and sister on the front of it. Very, very cool. But we shall take a look at the book first. Here we go. Again, the quality of the Evercade books are just fantastic. They really, really are. So reminiscent again of the good old days when you got these kind of books in every game. Well, here we go with a little bit about Pico themselves. Now we go into the games. There's 40 Winks. Now, I do believe it is the PlayStation version that's on here. Now, we've all seen PlayStation games running on the Evercade. Uh, you know, they've been done uh, very, very cleverly, like Doom and what have you. So we knew this was all possible for there to be PS1 games on here. And look, even more glorious, glorious games here. Obviously, I won't go through all of it. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Metal Mech. Let's go right to the back. There we go. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And oh, they're just such quality, these uh, these booklets, guys. And here we have Retro Gaming Leveled Up. Yep, there is the EXP. Gorgeous thing that it is. Right, so right, put him aside and then pull this back in because we want to get this cartridge out. And there we go, guys. Let's have a look a bit closer at it. There we are, fantastic. Look at that, what a quality label. That is fantastic artwork on there. Now again, guys, I say this every time, very much like a, uh, you know, a Game Boy Advance cartridge type thing um, back in the day. Obviously a different shape. I love this uh, shape that they have here at the top. And there's where you pull it. There is Blaze embedded there. And Pico Collection 3. Cart 29. So yeah, fantastic. But you know what we're going to have to do now, guys, don't you? We are going to have to slam it into the EXP and have a look and see what we've got. Eh? Let's do that now. Hi, right, guys, here we are into the menu. And first up, 40 Winks, the one I'm so excited for. Let's have a look first at the gubbins as usual. So yeah, there we go, 40 Winks, 1999 platform. Let's have a look at this fantastic artwork first. I mean, look at that. Wicked. That artwork is gorgeous on that banner there. Or poster, whatever you want to call it. And now, let's play this thing, shall we? Oh, here we go, guys. Here we are, we're there. Oh, there we go, guys, that music. Oh, that brings all the memories back for me of playing this fantastic game. Right, let's just get on with it and play. Now we've got a new game, load game, options, new game. Now you can either play as rough or tumble. We're going to play as rough. Because I'm a boy. Well, an old man.
A nice ninja. Oh yeah, the screen goes down guys as you can see, so yeah, just tap it and it's back up again. That was actually quite good it did that, so I can show you. Obviously you can adjust that in the settings guys, so that the screen stays on longer. There we go, cool. And here come the naughty people. Right, here he is, in his bed, he has to get out now. So yeah, this is fantastic guys, I mean this is playing perfectly, it really is. Yeah, long load times, but you know, that's nothing much different to what the PS1 was. Uh, looking at the controls here, yeah, they are sticking very much like the PS1. So yeah, that is fantastic, there he goes with his screaming and what have you. Alright, let's go into the next room, or oh, into the... Corridor, should I say? Yeah, corridor, here we go. We're into this room. Up the stairs. And then you're in here. You can go through to there. Oh, look, there's the clock. Yeah, thank you very much. That is very cool, thank you. But we want to be in here. It's a little bit more difficult without having sticks there to to use or fun pads and it's uh, all down to the d-pad of course and uh, yeah here we are into the next bit here I need the I need the key first before I can go anywhere if I remember right uh, let's just have a wander around but let's go around here a minute uh, nothing there no nowhere to go there all right all right then this is where the house is. Yep, here it is. Here's your first uh, proper level. I would say proper level. Oh, talking away to you there? Alright, okay. So here we are guys, we're into this bit of the house uh, yeah pretty cool yeah that is playing fantastic it has to be said that is playing very very nicely indeed wonderful i can't break that basket no okay then fine don't break the basket then. oh here we go locked door guys oh so yeah you're not going to be able to get any further here at the moment but yeah let's go back down but that plays fantastic i mean we didn't get to a proper level or anything like that but we got uh yeah 
nine more games to look at, guys. So, yeah, shall we move on? Hi, guys, here's the next one Legend of Wukong. Uh, 1996, this one, RPG. So, yeah, I like the banner work there. I love the, the stuff at the top all the time, guys. It always looks so fantastic, it really does. And I love the poster. Wicked, wicked. And play this thing, shall we? Super Fighter Team. Okay. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Let's get that in. There we go, so we've got an empty playing field here, obviously, because it's new. Yeah, new game. Let's see. Obviously, being an RPG, probably a little long winded. So we'll just see what we can here before having to move on, of course. Here we go guys, chapter one. Right, what have we got here then? Where's our little character? There he is. Okay. Cool. I'm presuming that's him, is it? Where is he? Oh, right, all these people are coming. Okay. Yeah. That one there, right. Fascinating, yeah. Okay, not here we are. Am I going to start moving or what? Yeah. Yeah, I said guys it would be long winded and that. But you're getting the drift of it, I'm sure. If you've ever played an RPG, this is standard. Yeah, fodder, guys, really. Standard fodder for an RPG. Long windedness. Not really going to see much here, are we? Yeah. Seems to be a pretty fun story from what I can read. Right, let's move on to the next one then, guys. Right, next, guys, it is Metal Mech Man and Machine from 1990, guys. Got a bit of age to this one, wow. So, yeah, look at that banner at the top there, guys, with that mech right in the middle there, love that. And uh, the poster looks pretty damn cool as well. That's the only thing left to do, play it, let's go. Ah, here we go then, right. Let's press start. Ah, there we go. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, let's do it then. He's jumping his little mech, look. oh, wicked. Very cool. Well, hey. Wow. Well, oh, here it comes. Oh, okay, I could move already. Oh, they're getting me from behind, look. Gits. Yeah, that is pretty damn cool, guys. Look at that. How wicked is that? That's it, we can get him. Yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, you bugger. Oh, I get it. There we go. Oh, cool. Oh, this could be a really cool game in the end, guys. You can jump. Oh, yes, you can jump like that, look. Look, it's a bit like a frog jumping, isn't it? That's what this mech actually reminds me of, a frog. There we go, right. Yes. 
We'll get that one. He's getting me a lot though. Oh yes, sods are all coming at once here. How fantastic is this look? Wow. Oh, we got it. Yes, jumping on it. Oh, we got it. Yeah, come on. No oh, buggers. Oh, come on you sods. Get back over the top of me. Come on. Come on. That's it. Oh, I've got one. Yeah, we've got one. Wicked. Yeah, let's keep going here. Oh, fantastic. Oh, they got me. Yeah, keep on going. Oh, yes, sons. <laughs> I haven't died yet. I'm quite surprised. You can see how good this game is, guys. But I think, once again, it is time to move on to the next one. That was fantastic. Well, next, guys, is Mortar City Patrol from 1992. A driving game, obviously. You can see it's uh, oh by that banner there. Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be one of them guys. Oh, just such a throwback. It really, really is. For a lot of people's memories, I'm sure. Yeah, wicked poster as well there. Again, looks a bit washed out on this uh, viewfinder, which is such a bloody shame. It really is. Yeah, cool. There we go. We're into the uh, current officer ratings. Okay, fine. Let's move on. All right, here we go. There's some kind of map there, I do believe. Cool. Right, how do we start then? Oh, game paused. Okay, we well, know how to pause it now. Ah, here we go then, guys. Right, yeah. Right, turn around and go. Got it? Aha, right, okay, I got it now. Oh, that's quite, um, yeah, quite a weird one to control. I'm sure it's fun. Uh, where are we going? Hmm, he didn't want to mess with me, I take it. That's cool. And I'm a crazy uh, cop who doesn't seem to even know where he's going, does he? No, he doesn't. Oh dear, we're stuck now, are we? Oh, I thought we were stuck. Oh, now we've got our lights going. Cool. Ah, no, I crashed. Right, and here we go with the next one, guys. Punch King. This is from 2002, and it's a boxing game. Oh, really? I would never have guessed. Cool. Oh, that. Oh, look at that. That's cool already. Wicked. That is cool already. Yeah, we'll go for... Mm, okay, no idea. Let's do that. Why we do it now? You don't want me to do it like that now. Okay, then. Oh, there we go. B button. That is pretty cool looking, isn't it? Maybe your old uh, mentor here. Got what it takes to be Punch King. Cool. <laughs> Wicked. That was a long time ago. You can tell you look like me. He's been around the ringer a few times, hasn't he, eh? Hmm. He wasn't pulled in, apparently, no. Fucking <laughs> mouth. Oh, dear, that's funny. 
that's what it is with this game guys it's got a lot of character that's what i keep hearing everybody say this has got so much character to it and you can see why it's got some fantastic uh, comedy to it that's the spirit <laughs> My kid, come on in, let's get on there now. Right, here we go, arena. Yeah, let's go for that. There we go. Henry Jameson. Henry Jameson, hmm. That's a friendly person. Uh, I try, but on the waters. Uh, don't believe it for a second now. So, right, what do I do here then? Okay. Oh, it's very much like a lot of the other boxing games that have been around all these years. Come on in, you bugger. Right. Oh, we hit me, you swine. Come on, get him, get him, get him. He's just going to beat my arse all the way, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, his defence is good, isn't it? Oh, I've got him that time. Okay, come on, let's get him again. Come on, man, again. Come on, you son. Oh, you bugger. He's certainly getting the better of me at the moment. Oh, you git. I uh, can't get you on back. Come on. Come on, you bugger. I'm going to be all over it. Look. I'm frustrated. Oh, he's beating the absolute crap out of me. There we go. Nice one. Oh, he's going to beat me, guys. He's going to beat me. No doubt about that. Time up. Oh, dear. Oh. Deary me, eh? My footwork could be better, guys. Oh. Right, okay. Here we go again, then. Let's go again. On, you can do it, come on. Oh, yeah, bugger, he's gonna beat the crap out of you again. Come on, you swine. He's nearly got me, guys, but I'm, I'm getting me on back a bit here. God, blimey, that's it. Yeah, that is it, guys, is it? No, I'm back up. Cool, I'm back up. Come on, one more, guys, one more. Oh, it's, it's just going to get me, isn't it? Oh, have I got it? Is he going to get back up? Oh, he got back up, guys. He got back up. And he's got all his bloody power back, look. Oh, you sod. Come on. Come on, you bugger. See, I can't use the shoulder buttons, guys. I'm filming at the same time. I can't feel I can do it. Oh, you bugger. Come on. I'm trying, but yeah, it's not really working out, is it? Oh, he got me again, guys. Oh, well, it is time to move on anyway. And I got my ass whipped, didn't I? Hmm. Right, and next, guys, it is Radical Bikers from 1998, and it's a racer. Hmm, I could have guessed that. Again, fantastic, fantastic uh, banner work there and the uh, cover poster whatever yeah it looks absolutely brilliant wicked and there we go guys your title card there style okie dokie we'll do English oh yeah please oh uh, game start no which one is it oh it's that one there we go so are we ready for this yes we are game Okay, dear. And we'll be her. There we go. More pet? Yeah, that'll do. Pet. Oh. There we go. Pizza. Margarita. Right, so you can see, guys. Here we go. So, yeah, it is definitely one of them, guys, where you really have got to go for it here. Oh, look at it. The controls are going to be very difficult at first. You to master, but you'll get there in the end. 
I'm sure I'm missing all the bloody coins here, aren't I? Very, very fun now. Yeah, I am not getting those coins, guys. I'm seeing them a little bit too late. Let's see if I can get any more this time. Oh, I missed it again. Yeah, I think there's going to be one up here shortly. Oh, I timed out. No! Come on, let me try again. Oh, game over, you buggers. Oh, dear me, eh? Right, let's try again. Yeah, retry the level. Okay, yeah, we know it's all about the pizza. We've got to deliver the pizza and we'll take it. Oh, there was one right there, guys. We'll oh, see that. Oh, how annoying. The police are coming. Is that? Yeah, we're supposed to be delivering the pizza, eh? That is a big question, isn't it? Right, it's telling me to go somewhere there, wasn't it? Just then. Hmm, let me just see if I can get back around there again. No, maybe not. Okay. Fuck you then. Oh, come on. You little shit, come on. Oh, I keep hitting all the cars, guys. I am terrible at this game. But it's very, very fun. I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it a lot. Let's get back around there. Let's see. Oh, I missed that coin there as well. Ah. But, yeah, what a game, guys. Very fun. Indeed. And I finished this time. Wicked. Cool. Oh. Look what she's wearing. Naughty. But, yeah, very fun game, guys. And, uh... It's time to move on. Right, next we've got a strange one, guys. This is called a Stanley. The Search for Dr. Livingston from 1992. Now, this is a peculiar one. I really do love this game, but it's, it's a very slow-paced one. It's not going to be for everybody. But yeah, look at that banner work, guys. Fabulous. And the poster cover. Brilliant. Here we go. That's the stuff. Yeah, there you go, guys. There's the story. I love that. <laughs> How cool is that? Right, so basically, it's uh, like a platformer, but mm, a bit slow paced. Uh, you talk to everybody, so it's an adventure game as well. There we go. Good luck, sir. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay then, thank you, bye. You won't put it twice there. Right, so yeah, you can jump like that, guys, so it is a platform as well. And yeah, just keep going. Right, into the next section here. Here, yeah, talk to everybody guys, because they will give you some info. Then you get to doors like this where you can go in. Uh, this one is yeah, a bit weird. Can't really do anything in here, doesn't look like it. And um, I don't know if you can maybe find items and stuff. You can't even get to the top there. Just come back out again, there's a lady at the top there, look. Let's <laughs> jump up here. And you will be able to talk to the lady. And there we are, keep going down into this one. And you can see the big spider here. In this one. And uh, yeah, you can just keep hitting it by going past it like that and then... Oh, you're back, I missed him. Okay. Try that again. Here we go. But if he gets you, which he will do in the end, he'll wrap you up in his web. And I'll tell you what, I, I was beating it and beating it and beating it. It takes ages to kill the bloody thing, so let's just move on. Okay, good morning again. Yeah, thank you. Let's go to this part here. Up here we go. 
Oh, there's a little fella to talk to. There we go. Oh, okay. I'm going to ignore you and go in anyway. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. There's a guy to talk to. We can. Right, so all that guys. Brilliant. Okay, let's go. She can go down here as well. Let's have a look here first. Another building. So you can see how it's going guys. It is literally like an adventure game with platform elements. But yeah, we're going to leave it there guys because it's a bit long winded this one like I've said. Right, let's move on. Right and up next guys we have a super bubble pop. Now this is a very very fun and addictive game but very hard at the same time. As you can see it's from 2002. So yeah banner work is yeah basically what it is really. It's uh, popping bubbles as you will see in a minute. Yeah pretty cool banner and uh, yeah the cover looks pretty cool as well. Alright here we go. Go on in. Games by design. Right, let's press that start button. Yes. Okay, cool. Right, so you can see you can choose different uh, ones here. Only the two to begin with. You can unlock more of course. We're going to go for, hmm, we'll go for her. There we go. Chilled. Yeah. Killed, definitely. Right, so now you're going to be able to see what I mean. How uh, fun this actually is, but hard at the same time. But yeah, you basically, uh, it starts off pretty easy and lame, and if you like, you know, pretty easy. I shouldn't say lame, it's very, very cool. But yeah, you start off quite slow. Right, so we've got that one, cool, and that one, nice. Oh, bugger. Yeah, keeping an eye on the side sometimes doesn't help, as you might have just realised it then. Right, we've got here then, green, yeah, that's cool. Uh, blue. Bugger, it wasn't a blue. Mm -hmm. That's one it told me it was going to be a blue. Hmm, there we go, that one, yeah. It does help you if you need it. If you need some help, I got that one. So extra time, that's good. So yeah, you can see, guys, this is very, very fun. Indeed, let's go over here. Got that one. Yeah, oh, I got green there. Yeah. Oh, bugger! It wasn't a green. It's almost like it's tricking you. Right, what have we got now? That one. Yeah, cool. Oh, no. oh, you bugger. Wrong place, that one. Yay, we've got that. I'm going to get that one now. Oh, you're so sure. I want to get this one here, but... Oh, dear. Extra time again. But well, I am about to die, guys. That's pretty bloody obvious, isn't it? Mm. Got that one. Oh, what well, happened there, then? Game over. I died. But that's fine, guys, because then we can move on to the next one. But you can see, very fun. Just getting used to those darn controls, eh? Mm. So, yeah, look at that banner work, guys. Wow. Very interesting, indeed. Very cool. This is, again, guys, it's a beat em up, but it's a slow paced one. Again, it won't be for everybody. If you love your Streets of Rage and all that, this won't be for you, I'm pretty sure, because it is very, very slow indeed. But it's definitely worth a play. Just see how we get on with it. Who to pick, eh? Who to pick? Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Let's move forward here. 
Number of heroes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Cool. Love that. All right. Who shall we be then? Should we be her? Yeah. And here we go, guys. Here's your map. And you're up. And as you can see, this is, uh, yeah. Very slow pace indeed. You pick up the old portions as you go along. But it is, of course, a beat em up. But you'll see what I mean. The hit detection is then, um, yeah. Not very good. And when they come at you from all the different positions, it, um, yeah, it gets a bit annoying because of the hit detection. You've got no, no hurry here at all. It's all just very much uh, plod, 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 plod along. Yeah, not, not very inspiring. Plod, plod, plod. Uh, let's keep plodding away here. Oh, dear God. Uh, just, just make sure you don't fall asleep mid-game, of course. And then, to turn around and things like that, guys, it's so painful. I mean, look at that, look, they just killed me because I couldn't turn around. What the hell is that all about? Come on, turn around. No, can't do it, guys, can't do it. No, oh, there we go, it's doing it now. Oh, seriously. So delayed. Oh, really, really not fun. Play. In my opinion, like I said, you may feel completely different, but I just find this uh, boring and excruciatingly crap to play, unfortunately. Right, let's move on. Right, and here we go, guys, for the last one. It is Zero Tolerance. Now, this is a lot more fun. It's a first-person shooter, guys, from 1994. The uh, banner work, I do like that. Look at it. And I got it out the bloody light. It's pretty cool. And I love that poster. Simple but direct to the point. And here we go. With some uh, weird animator. <laughs> right, come on then. Yeah, give me all the info, come on. Quite a bit to read there, wow. Right, let's move on if we can. Can we? Yes, we can. We don't want to read all that, do we? Right, here we go then. Right, this is pretty damn cool, guys. I do like this game a lot. Now just be careful. Look around everywhere. Because they will just suddenly appear. And shoot like that. And they do appear. Right, here we go. Here comes the first one. It reminds me very much of Wolfenstein, but in a, okay, a lot of uh, more fast-paced. Kind of oh yeah, my god, we just changed this so oh, all right, so we've run out of weapon, have we? Okay, that's cool then. Right, let's try again. Oh, come on, I need to get some weapons. You bugger, I'm gonna be dead in no time, there you go. So we've run out of bullets. Oh, dear me. Oh, look, there's a health pack there as well. You can kill him, you piss, but you really want a gun. And there's the gun just out of sight, look. And I died. You git. Right, I've got to give that another go. Come on. Come on, you bugger. Take me back. Okay. Right, okay then. They're going to give me all the... Whatever. Yeah, here we go. We'll just go for this one then. Right, let's try again. Let's go this way this time. Just behind this door. Nobody yet. Where are they? Oh, there he goes. Right there. Did we get him? Yes, we did. We did get him, and we have a weapon now, I think. Oh, here comes another one. Yeah, got him as well. And a bit more luck this time, guys. Oh, he's right there. Look. Oh, you fuck. Oh, I'm out of weapon again, did I? Yes, I did. 
need to pick up another weapon and some health. It, um, you know, I've put a lot of people off that it's only this tiny little window to see through, but um, I quite like that to be honest. Where have they all gone then? I had it just now, you swines. Bring it back, that's it, there we go. Got, it back here. Got him yet. Can I have a weapon please? Alright, so yeah, you can see what it's like guys. What a fantastic game once you get used to it and you get used to that little window there as well. Right, now it is time to skip back into the menu and uh, let's have a little talk about this. Oh yes guys, what a nice little collection of games, it really is. All ten have some really good attributes to them. I'm saying that guys, but I actually really, really hate one of them. But I'm sure to you guys it'll have some attributes um, that you'll probably fall in love with in the end. It's just I don't like it guys, and of course that is sword or so damn. It's just so damn slow. Um, yeah, I really don't like it guys. But, you know, it looks all right, and maybe you'll get some joy out of it. But yeah, otherwise, wow, what a collection of games. I love this cartridge very, very much. I think it's very fun. And I think it's time for my final thoughts. Well, guys, what did you think of that collection? I think it's pretty awesome bar one game. I think it's value for money, guys, of course, $17.99. Um, but you get 10 games on here, and uh, apart from one, they're all brilliant in their own way. Because what makes it for me is uh, good old 40 Winks. I adore that game, and it plays beautifully on here. It really does. Once again, ever came with their packaging, their cards, their fantastic books. They knock it out of the park every time, guys, with this uh, packaging. And the and the book, oh, just, just just gorgeous. It's one of the biggest selling points for me. For uh, any collector out there, this is beautiful because, of course, we get a bit sick of just having downloads and old books and, oh, yeah, we really do. But it's over to you guys. What did you think of the uh, Pico Collection 3 for the Evercade family of systems? Did you enjoy it? Is there something nostalgia to you there? You know, a game that pops out to you. Maybe it's 40 Winks, like me. Did you play that back in the day on the PlayStation and whatever? Do you love that game as much as I do? Yeah, it is over to you in the comments, guys. You know, I love to read your comments. Now, guys, you may have seen in the title to this, I've actually got a giveaway attached to this video, guys. And I'll tell you what, it's an exciting one, guys. This is a brand new and sealed copy of the tour plan collection uh, arcade 2 so yeah this is up for grabs guys for one lucky person so you can see guys completely sealed yeah absolutely sealed so yeah i'm going to be giving this away guys so if you haven't got this one in your collection already here's your chance to get it he says trying to get the bloody light off it again but yeah this is a fantastic collection of seven games, guys, but they're all beautiful. They really, really are. It's one of my favourite carts. And uh, yeah, as an arcade lover, uh, like me maybe, you would love this as well. So what do you have to do to get this? Well, it's quite simple, guys. You just comment on this video. Um, if you do not want to win this, because maybe you've got it already, then just put, obviously, in your comment, that you don't want to enter and then we will do a random you know picker again guys a random picker me and josh will uh, spin a random picker in i would say two weeks time from today when this was posted guys which was on uh, the sunday and from there you can work out guys when this was posted two weeks from there we will do the random pick and somebody one of you lucky people will win this fantastic collection. So yeah, get commenting guys, and you may just win 1799 pounds worth of fantasticness right there. Mm. 
So yeah, there you go guys, they're the rules, simple as that. Only one entry per person, of course, as usual, and we will pick the winner in two weeks as of today. So there you go. So yeah, guys, again, comment away about this fantastic collection. And uh, yeah, with that, guys, I'm going to wrap things up and I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a bummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And if you love all this retroness, guys, I've got a fantastic group here on Facebook. It is the Retro Emulation and Consoles Band Group. And we have a staggering three and a half thousand members, guys, to banter with. We also have a ton of content with system unboxing, system reviews, emulation performance and tech help videos. We also have the world's greatest admin team behind us as well. And I mean that, guys, they really are wonderful. They're always there for you. So yeah, if that is of interest to you, it is linked below. Head over, we'd love to see you. And then guys, also my UK Crowd Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything gaming, from the dawn of gaming with bomb machines right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. And again, guys, wonderful admin team, ever-growing member base. So if that interests you, link below as well. Head over and take a look. And finally, I have my channel membership. You could become a member of the UK Crowd family for as little as 99 pence a month. This will give you access to the members only video and uh, videos I should say and it gets you a badge next to your name in the comments that changes colour every month and lets everybody know you're a member of the UK Kraut family so if you're interested guys there is other tiers with other perks attached just find that join button head over and take a look and with that guys I'm going to love you and leave you so good as in choose and goodbye and good luck guys if you're entering the giveaway see you next time bye bye <laughs>